On here, guys, and today we're talking about the new Radio Master AG01. That's right, these heavy metal gimbals that are the smoothest feeling manufactured gimbals ever that's right my last radio the jumper t18 pro had the alps dc 90 gimbal supposedly the smoothest gimbals on the land well radio master couldn't let that stand they've came out with these bad boys i'm gonna attempt to learn how to hybrid pinch so that i can take full advantage of these four-way adjustable gimbals and i put htx and we're going to show you some of those shortcuts in just a second Let's go check out. check out these AG01 metal gimbals, the same four way adjustable. And with only six screws, you can pop the back off of this thing and four screws for each gimbal swap this out. Now, Radio Master has taken the upgrade methodology that you can pretty much buy in at any point. And as they make upgrades, they always make every set compatible. So you can upgrade to the leather grips if you can want. You can upgrade to the metal buttons, the metal faceplate, the painted faceplate, the carbon faceplate, and these metal gimbals. Jumper took a slightly different route. They do have some interchangeable items, but the Jumper T18 platform was not backwards compatible with the Jumper T16, meaning that you had to buy a whole new radio. You couldn't just upgrade. So I did have the Jumper T16 and I ended up having to buy one of these and I lost a lot of money. Had I decided to go this route, I could have upgraded every single piece along the way to get to this same level of radio including these incredible gimbals. Now, one thing that has shocked me is how good even the default four-way adjustable gimbal is. Out of the box, the tension is just so delicious. It has just the right amount of tension dialed in here. Um, and so I've been practicing learning how to hybrid pinch and just about an hour on this and I was smashing my Velocidrone leaderboard times. That should not be possible. Normally it takes me 50 to 60 packs to adjust to a new radio. How is this possible? How are these sticks so good? And I haven't even put the metal ones in yet. Let's go do that and figure out how many other ways I'm gonna pimp this thing out. How does it feel, Sam? It feels good. Oh, like can move the stick, huh? All right. It's dope, man. Like that, yeah, it, it looks, looks dope sick. right there. The, yeah. They just glow. They got the five, three, three, three you know? Last night, Damn. I sat there for like three hours staring That's at his it. That's his radio like, right here, by the way. He's clean his radio in time. He got that. He goes, sir, hold your clean his radio. You got to get that man with that clean radio. Yeah. Uh, got 33 radio. Yeah, with the, you see with the, the five, three, three. Yeah. He's probably the only one that has that. Yeah. No. Oh, what's his face? Derek has it. Oh, Ooh. Derek? Derek yeah. Oh, Derek has it? Derek has a black one. Does he still fly, though? Um, I'm sure the same, but I think Matt... I see Chet no, backboard okay. and Derek, he and bought, he don't even he live in the same city. Oh, I already know, he already no, knows. He already knows. He bought <laughs> Yes, I had the original Radio Master that looked pretty much like this when it first came out, but I stayed with the jumper line because I was used to that stick throw and I didn't want to disturb my muscle memory. Relearn, go back to square one, crash for about 50 packs until you finally adjust. Plus, the T18 Pro had those very fancy Alps DC90 gimbals that are in those very expensive Futaba radios. But has Radio Master managed to top that? Well, I have to say they have. The feeling on this is so buttery smooth. And I'm not talking about, I can't believe it's not butter. I'm talking about that gourmet garlic butter you get in the butcher section in order to throw on your tomahawk state that's the kind of butter you're getting if you're ever a gamer and you have something like this the project scorpio xbox one launch day controller you may have seen those expensive controllers out there with metal sticks metal gimbals metal 
innards, and that's for the premium professional gamer that wants every advantage when they're playing multiplayer deathmatch. Well, when you're freestyling that bando and you want every advantage, and maybe you're still flying one of these bad boys, the X90 Special Edition, mwah, one of the greatest radios of all time, you want the best. And I can tell you that this is the best that money can buy. And when money is on the line, I attended the giant race in Costa Rica. And at one point we had open practice. And you know how you call your next in open practice? You put your radio down in line on a table. Just the same way if you ever used to play games in an arcade, you used to put your quarter up on the sill of the arcade machine to call your next. You do that with your radio, and every radio in line was pretty much Radio Master. I think I was the only jumper in attendance, and I did have the Zorro with me, even though I wasn't flying it that day, so I put it on the table to call my necks just so I can get some of that Radio Master feels. And it's very cool of a company like Radio Master sponsoring that international event. We're going to have a lot of videos of that coming up very soon. So if you want to support companies that actually support the hobby, this is the one. Now, while that is nice, I'm still going to go with whatever the best is. I can afford to fly whatever radio. I have six radios right next to me, including these two right here. And I think these are the two best on the market. The Radio Master Zoro, if you're into gamer style. Now, it is going to be some metal AG01 micro gimbals for this thing. So I'm holding on to it until that comes out. And maybe I'll decide to go with this after all. But if you want the ultimate... This now this is the Johnny 5 edition that I've cooked up for you guys right here and this is a way you can save 70 bucks. You buy the base model Radio Master setup that only costs $200. Then you buy the AG01 metal gimbals that cost $130. You slap them in and you saved yourself $70. Now you do get something that looks a bit more plain, but I had some 3M carbon vinyl wrap that I was using to wrap the dash in my car. I had some left over and so I put a few little accents on there just to give it a little bit of bing. Now I might add the leather grippies just for a little bit of added leather feel. I used to carry around the leather laptop bag when I still worked in an office and when I wasn't working at home. And I think uh, it would be nice to have, you know, just a little bit of leather. I could use my leather polish on this thing. Looking for something that says, dad likes leather. Something that says leather daddy. Oh, is there such a thing? Mind if I squeeze in here for a moment? Oh! So I probably will do that eventually. This is the best radio out there. These are the best gimbals out there. But I will say, even the new four-way adjustable default gimbals that this thing comes with are surprisingly good. They're very, very smooth. These stick-ins that this comes with are really nice thickness and size. They're great to grip for thumbing or hybrid pinching, but... They are so sharp and pokey, it feels like they were crafted by a medieval torturist lurking in a dungeon somewhere because as soon as you put your thumbs on it, you can feel it piercing through the flesh. You're going to develop thick calluses on your thumbs so that when you go to massage your wife's back, she's going to be like, my goodness, what the fuck are you rubbing me with? So be wary of that. What I did to negate that was I just took a little bit of sandpaper on here and took a little file and just filed the nubs down just enough to where it won't prick the skin every time you fly. And I've already noticed my time's getting smoother. That's how you measure if a physical adjustment to your setup is actually going to do you any good. You get on Velocidrome and you start cracking at tracks that you've grinded on. If in a few tries you're getting better times, you know this is the right choice. If not, you got a little bit more stick time to give. If you're ready to upgrade from a budget radio, kind of nice, you can have this for a hundred bucks. But if you want the big bad boy and you're ready to throw out 300 to 400 dollars for the big dog, dang, I've been speeding up to the spot. The moan rolls up, it's about to get serious. Radio Master sponsored pilot. No, Radio Master sent it to me not because I am fast pilot, which is oh. kind of sad, but they send it to me because the guy is appreciating better flight work. <laughs> and he sends and he sends radio to me and to five other better flight developers. Oh shit. Did yeah. you get to pick the color? Uh, kind of I kind of wanted that, but also this is like a better flight color. 
like a carbon with yellow, with, with gold. Yeah. So would you rather be known as fast racer or a good beta flight developer? Oh, well, I prefer both, but probably <laughs> probably fast racer. Uh, yeah. I think now you're more famous from beta flight probably because so, of yeah. hardware. That's a little bit sad. And UAV tech. Yeah, and that's a little bit, it is good, but also a little bit sad because I wanted to be fast pilot, which yeah. I'm not apparently. Well, if more people watch my videos, but they only watch hardware. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. What are you guys using, guys? If you could, would you figure out a way to adapt your Xbox controller to fly FPV? I mean, that would be kind of cool. You probably wouldn't fly very well, but it would be pretty impressive to roll up with that thing and be like, bam. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna figure out how to put Game Bulls inside my OG Game Boy. And instead of having a module like this, I'm gonna make a module into a Game Boy cartridge and I'm gonna slap it in and it's gonna be like, Bing! you know the sound when you first boot up the original Game Boy? Yeah, that's gonna be my startup tone. Thanks, guys. So you can work harder, Johnny Five. I know. Harder, yeah. yeah. Subscribe to Johnny Five channel. Yes. Famous YouTube star, seven thousand subscribers. <laughs> Pathetic. Click his affiliate links and yes. ask your friends to subscribe on his channel and share his videos on Facebook. That's right. Spam them to every. Yeah, yeah, send yeah. Them to yeah. your grandma. Yeah, yeah. Grandma. <laughs>